Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another social emotional wellness workshop. My name is Tony Curitan, and today I'd like to share some information on how to have a growth mindset. So, developing a growth mindset is about believing that skills and intelligence can be developed through effort, learning, and perseverance. Today, I'd like to share a few tips to help you cultivate a growth mindset. Number one, make sure you embrace your challenges. See challenges as the opportunities that they are. They are opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. When you encounter something difficult, remind yourself that it's a chance to improve and learn new skills. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? Number two, value effort over talent. That means you need to recognize that every effort is key to mastery. Instead of focusing on how talented you are at something, focus on how much effort you put in to improving. Set specific goals that focus on effort, like I will practice my presentation skills for 10 minutes each day. Number three, Learn from criticism. Feedback, especially constructive criticism, can guide your growth. Instead of taking it personally, use it as a valuable information tool on where you should and how you should improve. When receiving feedback, ask yourself, how can this help me get better? Number four, celebrate your small wins and progresses. Recognize and celebrate even small improvements. Growth doesn't happen overnight, so it's important to acknowledge progress along the way. Keep a journal to note small achievements and reflect on how far you've come. Number five, replace a fixed mindset and thoughts. If you catch yourself thinking, I'm just not good at this, replace it with a growth-oriented thought like, I'm not good at this yet, but I can improve and get better with practice. Practice reframing your negative thoughts by adding the word yet to the end of your sentence, like, I can't solve this problem yet, but I'm going to get there. Number six, surround yourself with positivity. Connect with people who also believe in growth and self-improvement. Being around others with a growth mindset can inspire you to keep pushing forward. Seek mentors, friends, or groups who value learning and improvement. Number seven, be open to learning new things. Explore areas outside your comfort zone and view learning as a lifelong journey. Set a goal to try one new activity or subject each month to keep challenging yourself. Number eight, persevere through setbacks. Understand that setbacks are part of the learning process. They help build resilience and are a natural part of growth. When facing a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And focus on solutions rather than problems. So key takeaways. By practicing these steps consistently, you'll strengthen your ability to view challenges as learning opportunities and persist in the face of setbacks and adversities, which will help you to foster a growth mindset over time. Here are some other resources that you can use to assist you. If you need to seek professional help or counseling, good deal. There is nothing wrong with that. 
Therapy or counseling with a mental health professional can provide you with guidance, support, and coping strategies to assist you. The two resources I provided are Alternatives for Girls located in Detroit and Common Ground Resource Crisis Center located in Pontiac. Their contact information is on the screen. They'll, they will be able to provide you with resources and um, people to talk with and crisis and support information to help you through whatever you may be going through. Well, friends, that is my time for today. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this information helps you on your self-care journey. If you would like more information, make sure you click on the link below and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is Tony Curitan, and I will see you next time.